Okay, let's try this again. Alyssa, are you there? Okay. Are you there, Alyssa? Okay, Let's see one person, I don't know who that is. Hello. I don't need to get my water now. And I'm gonna sweat it up a storm coming in the house. I had to move everything in the house. We're gonna see if this go uh, well. If this doesn't work, then I know it's not supposed to happen today. So let's see here. Are you on a listen? Okay, what am I? Do you see me talking to you with my phone? I'm in the kitchen. I'm going to go and delete the rest of them. That way it won't be a confusion. Hi, it's great now, Marie. Okay, Marie is on Alyssa. So do you see her comment? I'm trying to get Alyssa on to the right one. Pretty phone, thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. Hold on. Good on my end, okay, that's good. I had to bring all the stuff in the house, which I was trying to avoid doing, but Hopefully it's working good now. I'm trying to wait on Alyssa to switch over to the right one. Hi, Joanne again. Hi, Krista. Do you see it again, Alyssa? Hold on. Let me, I'm going to go and delete those other ones and that way she can find it. Looks good, yay. Okay, what I was saying, yes, I am. Thank you, Tricia. But I love, love, love what you've seen in the video. I love the fabric. It turned out so great. I went in there with sewing some this morning, but I actually came in and got this all set up on time. I weighed all my boxes and everything so I would know exactly what the, uh, well, you have a better idea what shipping would be. But like I say, today what we're going to do, we're going to do box sales. Um, I wanted to clear out some of my inventory. So we have a lot of Christmas boxes and we have a, one Christmas jewelry box. We have one small box. Most of the boxes are all the 12 by 12 flat rate shipping boxes. Not flat rate, excuse me, just a large shipping box like this. And each one is filled with something. They all have different themes and so forth. And what I'll do is I'll start with a Christmas one. I had a Christmas one right on the top. Okay. So again, I'll tell you the weight of the box and everything about what it weighs. And I'll tell you the price. And I have Christmas. I have one craft box. I have a box of vintage hats. I have a couple of boxes of linens. But we're going to start with this Christmas one here. We're going to start with this box here and it weighs about eight pounds and it's all for one price. It's not going to be an offer up. Okay, let's get this over here where I can turn this down. I had it set up and everything out there so nice before I had to start over. In each box, there's an assortment. Okay. Hey, Alyssa. Yay. In each box, there's an assortment of ornaments of the Christmas ones. 
their candle holders, their salt and pepper shakers, their some of everything. In each box, I would say it's probably valued at over a hundred dollars selling individually, but that will be nowhere close near the price that I will be selling it for. I'm just taking some of the stuff out of the box to show you, uh, give you an idea of what's in the box. I won't show you everything, but I will show you a lot of it. Okay, so in this box here, we're going to get started with this box. This is box number one, and it weighs about eight pounds. You'll get this adorable Santa Claus teapot. So the head comes off and comes out here. There's no markings or anything in there. I don't think it's very old, but you will get that Santa. We have this little wooden Santa that says Santa stops here. I think it's two of these in here. No, it's one. This is a candle holder. It holds the tall taper candles. And you'll see a lot of it. I still have my prices on it from the booth because I just unpack my booth stuff. This right here, normally I sell for $4. And this is a green one. You have this adorable um, turtle ornament and it's a souvenir from Myrtle Beach. And it just says Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. You have this adorable, he's called a big fish. He's called a turtle actually. Let's get that untwisted off of there. You have this ornament here. It's like a deer and a Santa out fishing on the ice. And this is like a piece of ice has a little hole in it. And this is by, can I read that? Nope, can't see what that says. An adorable salt and pepper shaker. I'm breathing. <laughs> you have this glass Santa here, ornament. What else is in there? This is by the Yankee Candle. This is a, a, you hold it like the voltage candle. It's a little cup and saucer. It has a cardinal on one side and it looks like some type of little wren or something on the other. And this is by the Yankee Candles. This is, you have three of these in there, yes. These little chirrup like um, ornaments. And this is like, I don't know what this is. It's some type of weird, it's like a plastic, it's plastic. And it's a set of three. What else is in there? Oh. You have this Christmas, um, he's good. He just went to sleep for his afternoon nap. Oh, okay. You have this um, Peter Rabbit Christmas music box. It does have a little chip right there was well, not really it's like a chip but it's very very little and then it's one up under and what else is in here you get about 12 maybe more of these little wooden ornaments like this you get about 12 of these are in the box This box has um, another candle holder. And it's just marked Japan on the bottom. Before you get, okay, I will, I will. I'll tell you about when I'm ready to give the price. You have two of these Christmas, like a bread and butter plate, a dessert plate, and it's just marked I guess it came from Macy's, Macy and Company, and it's marked Japan on the bottom. Hopefully you can see that. You have another Christmas plate. This one is from 1980. Oops. And it's made in, in uh, England. It says, Happy Holidays to You. Royal Crownford, and it has the artist's signature on the back of the plate. And 
and what else what else is just a few more things and then i will be ready to give the price this adorable little precious moment christmas it's a little trinket dish and it says may you have the sweetest christmas and this is the bottom and i'll see if i see a date on the writing is very 1996. So you'll get all of that in the box. Here's a beautiful little bud vase. And it has a Japan sticker on the bottom. And it's just more ornaments and stuff down in the box. So you'll get quite a few ornaments. And like I said, this is box number one. And You'll get all of that stuff in that box. It's all together. It weighs about eight pounds. So shipping local, well, shipping on the East Coast will probably be about 10. Uh, shipping to the Midwest will probably be about 12. Shipping to the West Coast, probably going to be about 20, honestly, or maybe even 25. It's just ridiculous every time I weigh some things and how the price has went up. So this box number one is $45. Box number one is $45. So that's box number one and it's $45. So it's a complete, you can decorate your house completely for the holidays or for resellers. It's a lot of really good stuff in there. Did I show the salt and pepper shakers? And you get the salt and pepper shakers. And this, um, they're just made. Hi, Jeannie, how are you? So that's box number one. State Christmas box. Oh, they could just put number one down. So to claim this box, you would just put number one. Christmas box is number one. We should all do this load up unconnected items, ship them off to each other. But that would be a good, that would be a good idea. So that one was number one number one okay then uh the next one that i can reach handy that's very easy to get to let me see if i can set this one down some while we're on christmas i can get this this hair will ship in a flat rate padded envelope so the shipping on this would be i think eight dollars so you'll get this Christmas stocking. And inside of this Christmas stocking is lots of goodies. You'll get this little um, snowman pin. It's just a brooch and it measures, I did not bring a ruler in here, but probably I would say um, almost two inches. So it's the Santa, I mean, the uh, two uh, snowman. You'll get these angel earrings. You'll get this beautiful Christmas tree brooch. I think this was by Avon, I think. This is actually a little, I guess the light, it lights up or plays music. It does have a little box on the back. I'm not sure. That's not the one I was thinking. Okay, you'll get this uh, vintage wreath here. And I don't think any of the stones are missing on any of these items. You'll get this silver and gold snowman. You'll get this Christmas tree here, and this is a brooch. 
you'll get this Christmas watch. Well, it's not really a Christmas watch, but it was red, so I just put it in there with it. The band will need replacing. And I'm not sure who this watch is by. The battery, I'm quite sure, needs to be replaced because it's just been packed up for a long time. You'll get another reef. You'll get this really pretty silver and gold reindeer or deer, Christmas deer. He's kind of large. I would say he's about three inches almost. You'll get this teddy bear pair of, um, there's teddy bears. It's a pair of bobby pins. And here's another wreath here. It's silver with a little red and green. And if you want to see any of these up close, just let me know. So you'll get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 11 pieces of Christmas jewelry. This will be number six for the Christmas jewelry. And the price on this is $35. And you know, that is really a good price. This is $35 and it's number six. Okay, Joanne, I have you down for that. Thank you very much. And I'm coming to Durham probably the first week in August. As soon as I get back from Atlanta, I'm coming to Durham. So I will let you know in advance what date I'm coming. So you'll get all of that packed up in this little Christmas stocking. And that's Joanne. Okay. The next one we're going to do is this box of linens. Ugh. Oh, well, where, where's your new boo? And this linen box is seven pounds. So it's a lot of pieces in here. I'm not going to show every single piece, but and most of the pieces are in good shape, good condition. Most of them have no stains, no holes. I mean, I may have missed a few because I was just kind of packing as I go. Okay, let's get started. You'll get this uh, little table topper here. It's for like, uh, it's not a card table topper, but it has like this corner has a heart. This one have a spade, the diamond and a club. And this table topper is about, I would say a 24, maybe a 28, 24 to a 28 inch, um, you know, square. There's no stains or anything. It's kind of like a muslin fabric, a heavyweight muslin. Oh, that'll work out great. That'll be great. We have this little round. Well, it's kind of like an oval. I would say this is about an eight inch by six inches. This a pillowcase. Now this pillowcase does have a, a little, um, actually I've already started cutting this pillowcase, okay? I must've made a doll dress out of it. So it is cut here, but I put it in here because it has a really good um, embroidery on it. So maybe you could cut the front of it and use just this as a scarf or something for a dress or scarf. And on the back, it does have one little hole, but 
like I said, the embroidery on that is really pretty, this little basket. And I wasn't going to put it in there, so I didn't iron it or anything. And what else? We got this beautiful one here. It's just a little round circle, probably eight inches. Let's see. A little bit more, probably nine inch circle. We have this one here. Uh, this is about seven inches, a seven inch circle. This is a set, it has several pieces. I'm not sure if they all end up in this box or not. It's like a vintage voile uh, type fabric. Have this adorable little teeny one here. We have this one here. And this is not a stain, no. Here's a vintage um, can dish towel. It says made in Holland. And if I had to guess the size on that, 11, 22, about 25 inches long this way. And the width of it, 11 and 6, I would say probably about 18 inches. And it does have a Made in Holland. There's another one to match the ones I showed earlier. What is this here? Oh, so it's a, a scarf. A dresser scarf. It does have two little holes. One is here and one right there in the middle. Uh, what's this? A handkerchief? Nope. It's like a real dainty napkin. I mean, a fingertip towel like for your front bathroom maybe for a guest bath. So, do, 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 do. This is about maybe 15 inches by about eight inches. Uh, a Demis napkin, kitchen napkin. There are one, two, there's four of these. So it's a set of four. A little star shaped doily. This is a pair of curtains, it's a balance. And it is a pair. And in the center of it, this is the center, it has a real pretty embroidery design on that. And then it has thick cotton lace down at the bottom. And if I guess the size of this, now remember, I'm guessing the size. That's one, two, three. So that's third. This is about 60 by, about 60 by 18. Hi, D. And you do get two of these. So it is a pair. And they are, they're very clean. They're fresh from the dry cleaners. Not by me, but from whomever I got. Here's another little napkin or a handkerchief. Another doily. I think I showed one similar. This is a piece that matched the other one that I showed. This is a smaller one. This does have a little rust on it. What is this one? Another scarf. Like I said, this is eight pounds worth of stuff in this box. Another uh, pillowcase. With beautiful embroidery on that. Another one of the doilies to match one that I showed earlier. Another doily. So lots of stuff in this box. Beautiful one here. Here's a couple of handkerchiefs. This is really pretty, this right here. And it's uh, I mean, it's, it's four of these in there. 
they're all basically the same size. I don't know if they were little small placemats or just doilies, but they're really pretty. Another tablecloth. I didn't press this one out. Let me show you the trim on that on the corner. And this one is probably, I would say probably like a 30 inch square if I had to guess. And what else? Uh, a dish towel. Some type of table topper, a runner for a table. I'm not going to show everything. I'm going to show like this here. And I'm going to show one more thing out of this box, but there's more in this box. I'm not sure what this is. I would use it for a table cover over top of maybe a solid color. Some more um, handkerchiefs. So this box, let me make sure. This box is seven pounds. I'm sorry, seven pounds. This box is $45 and it's number 45. It's 45. So you have, I don't know how many pieces of linen in here. And that's just a portion of what I showed. I do see an apron in there. So it is a couple of aprons. So it's some of everything in the box and it is $45 for this linen box. Lots of pretties in there, a whole bunch of pretties. So if you have a booth or resale, you would more than triple your money on that. Okay, so that's everything that was in, well, that's not everything. That's some of the stuff that was in that box. So you would get a seven pound box of linens for $45 and it's number 45. Okay. Then let's do a box of, I think these are, are um, let me see if this is what this is. Yeah, we're going to do a box of um, different little figurines. There's at least, I think I put 25 figurines in the box, I think. I think it was like 25 figurines. This box will be about eight pounds. Okay. So what we'll do, let's get started with this box. They're all little figurines. Most of them are little girls. It's just that I had way too much stuff and I needed to clean up some stuff. So you'll get several of the UNESCO Growing Up Girls. This one is number nine for nine years old. There's no chip cracks or anything on most of it. If I do find a chip or crack, I always do let you know that. So you'll get her. You'll get this adorable little girl, kissing angel girl. And there's no marks or anything on her. This is really cute here, this little pair here. These are about like two and a half inches tall and it's just a little boy and a little girl. <laughs> hey, I need to get rid of some stuff. I'm gonna do him cause I just noticed this little bird's tail is chipped off. I just noticed that, but his fingers are great. And this is a home co piece. It still has a little home co sticker on the bottom. We have this little boy here, and he is by the DB Company Imports Original. It's made in Japan. He's about six inches tall. Have this cute, <laughs> it makes me laugh whenever I see it. 
have this cute little set of this little mouse, bride and groom. And this is made in Taiwan, so probably 70s to 80s. We have this little boy on a trinket box, and this is my home coat, and I haven't taken the tape off of that, so hopefully you can see that. Sometimes I'm at the thrift store, and I just be buying stuff and really don't know why I'm even buying it. We have this bride and groom. Now, he is missing a little paint, but this is not a chip. His little black paint is scratched off, and this is made in Korea. And these are about five inches tall. We have another little, um, a little girl, I guess she's churning butter. And she is made in, I'm not sure what that says. I would venture to say it says Japan, but I really cannot see what that say. Made in, I really cannot see what it, but I would say Japan, looking at the color and all. We have a little Cinderella Jasco Bell. Let's see what else is in there. Here's another growing up girl. This is um, age five. This is a Nesco. And these have no chips. Even the flowers are in great shape. We have another growing up girl. This is age six. That's why I be picking up some of this stuff. But I went up to my booth yesterday and I cleaned out a lot that I brought home. We have this, this little girl is really pretty. Now she is a bell, but she's missing her little clinker. But the hold is there so you could easily just get some wire, run it through there. And she's about three inches tall, but look at that face. She's really pretty. And her little flower is in good shape, good condition. Let's see what else is in here. This system. Let's see what this one is here. This is uh growing up. This is a Nesco. This is the baby. Come that up so you can read that. It's 1987. That's the little baby. There's another little girl there. She's out in the rain and she's covering up her little puppy. And this is, I hadn't even taken it before I saw her. And she's about three inches tall. So they're nice little fillers for a booth. It's just that I got way too much. Um, there's another growing up girl in there. It's number, what age is she? This is number 10, age 10. There's an angel in there, another little boy. Here's a little white angel. So coloring pieces, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, there's 20 pieces in each box, in each one of these boxes, at least 20. And in that box, they're all in great condition. <laughs> yeah, but I just said, you know, I've got to get better about getting this stuff out and done. So these are for the little, um, figurines there's at least 20 figurines this is box number three and it is 45 dollars. so that's less than um right at two dollars a piece each one of the things and you know those unesco girls even though they're not as popular as the um joseph originals they still really sell well Ooh, that piece of thing scared me so that was number three and it's $45 for that box of ornaments. And it's not that they weren't selling in my booth. It's just that I just had way, way too many. And I just wanted to circulate the stuff around.
Okay, Joanne, I have you down. Well, one thing you good, Joanne, you'll save on shipping because you don't have to pay for the shipping for them. Oh, let me write the number on that box, number three. Okay. Let's see what's in this box. Oh, this is a baby box coming up. All baby items. We'll start with this uh, little baby photo album. It has not been written in or anything. It has that old smell like somebody's old house, but it's in really good condition. The graphics on it is really, really nice. This is one of those items, if I don't sell, I'll probably end up cutting it up to make a journal. So you get this book here, and it is by, I thought I'd seen who this was by. Oh, Gibson, the Gibson Company. And it's in right, it's in um, Roman numerals a year, so I'm not sure. And usually I look it up, but I did not look that up. So you get this book. This cute little Winnie the Pooh box. Now it does have the, the writing on the back. It says 25. I'm pretty sure some of them do. Hi, Marco. Thanks for joining us. I'm doing some um, even better if you have. I do have grandfathers and granddaddy stickers on some of them. You get this little baby uh, planter. I'm doing box sales today, and this is by Flowers Incorporate, uh, Incorporation. It says balloons, but look at the, I mean, really pretty. This cute little fairy by Boyd's Bears. Uh, can, that's what's inside of this box. This little trinket dish. Hi, Deb, how are you? You get this little um, baby's uh, bowl. It's the, you know, fake silver uh, stainless steel and it's made in Japan. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. It's really small. It does have a person's name engraved on it, but in the past, it's never been a problem selling stuff with engraved names, but I've been just too lazy to list it on Etsy. Then I have a matching little spoon. I don't know if it match, but it's a spoon, a baby spoon. And it has a cute little goose on it or duck. You get a bowl, a baby's bowl. And it's by Table Talk and it's made in Japan. Got a Peter Rabbit VHS. Who remembers VHS? <laughs> I know some people still have them. <laughs> You get this baby bank here with the little bears on it. And each one of the little panels is different. And the last thing in this box, no, no, it's not. I'm sorry, I thought it was the last thing. This Peter Rabbit lamp. And it does um, work. It's one that takes a little night light. So it needs a new bulb, bulb in it, but it does work. So you get that. And the last item in this box, I'm showing this is everything that's in this box. I'll probably throw a couple more things in as long as it doesn't go over the weight. You get this plate and you can personalize this with a um, Sharpie. And it has a hanger on the back and a Japan sticker. This is box number four. It's the baby box. Oops, when does baby spell with a G? Um, and this box here is what you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. How about thirty dollars for this box here, this baby box? So that's a great deal there on that. 
Is I think in the past with the lamp, when I had the shade on the lamp, I think I've sold that lamp for forty dollars by itself with the, on on Etsy. Tend to get a little bit more on Etsy. So that was number four, and it was thirty dollars for the baby box. Box number, it was number four. Box number four is the baby box. And Joanne, if you keep buying, I will give you a better discount price since I can just box it up and don't have to wrap it or whatever. If you see more than one box, just let me know. Send me a message on any of them that does not sell and I will give you a great price and even discount your other boxes. Because I really appreciate this because I need to clean up some of this stuff. And I hate just donating it to Goodwill. Okay, I got one more box on this side. Let's see what that is. And then it's probably a Christmas box coming up. Let's see here. Yep, another Christmas box. So let's do that box now. Okay, this is another Christmas box. Thank you. You have this set of salt and pepper shakers. They're really cute. Now it's weird because she was re-glued back together, which you can see the glue if you look close right there, you can see it. But it's no, I don't know how they glued it because I don't see any sign of a crack on the front. Yes, I'm gonna, sh I'll show hats next. And these were made in Taiwan. It has lots of ornaments, over a dozen. Yes, the baby box sold. But believe me, D, I have enough stuff that I can do a couple of baby boxes because baby stuff was really good at granddaddy's. But at this mall, it doesn't do that good where I am now. Okay, what else is in this box? This is a candle holder. Isn't that cute? And I think I might have broke that since I packed this because I see a little chip. Can you see right there, part of that little um, holly leaf is broken off and the candle go right in there. And the only more, oh, it fits in Floyd. Have that. It's a set of four of these glasses. It's a set of four and they are by I think when I looked them up, I think it was Libby. I think that's an L on the bottom, but it's a set of four glasses. Very, very nice. The pattern is called uh, winter something. But anyway, it's a set of four of those. There's a little holly jolly snowman. This beautiful candy dish only marks on the back probably says made in Japan because I wouldn't have covered it with a price. You can see Joanne, that's a granddaddy sticker up under there. These, this little bird here, he's soft, he's fabric. And this is about, oh, uh, this is kind of big. I would say seven, yeah, at least seven inches long and about six inches tall. His feet is wired, so he does stand. And this one was from 2018. And here's the other part who by, I cannot say that word. So I'm not even gonna to try to butcher that. Like I said, all of them have over 12 Christmas ornaments in them. These are still on a pin, all of them together. These are just plain disc here. And each one of these, well, a lot of them are little bells. This little one here, this is a bell as well, and it is made in China. Here's um, Precious Moment napkins. Um, these are by Hallmark, and they were put out in 1993. It's 16 napkins in there. This one here. This is uh, Iggy, Happy Holidays. 
ornament. It's that satin covered, um, how they take the ribbons like satin and cover a styrofoam ball. And it just says happy holidays. Let that back up in there a little bit. Um, this is new, but it's cute. It'd be nice on a fly. I think I should keep that. But anyway, I got it in here. I think I got a couple of these. It's two uh, cardinals. Yeah. And it's kind of like, it's more paper mache. It's like paper mache because it's very light. But this box is, um, I think this is an eight pound. I think this box is, yeah, this box is eight pounds with everything that's in it. Then this is a Avon Angel, I think. I think. <laughs> yeah, this is an Avon Angel. So you get everything in this box. I didn't show all the ornaments. But like I said, you get over a dozen ornaments in this box. And there's a little candle holder in there. And I don't think it's any. Yes, yeah, Alyssa, I have it, Alyssa. She sent me a text message. So this is box Christmas box number five. And this is $40 for the box and it's eight pounds. And like I was saying, to ship to the West, out West, any, you know, Arizona, California, Washington and stuff is not sure. But um, thanks for stopping in though. I appreciate it. I'm going to try to get off before you go on, but I didn't get started until very late having some technical issues. So this is box number five and it's $40, number five. So that make these ornaments, these things like less than $2 for each item. And I think this set of glasses, uh, let's see how much were they selling for. Let's see, on this set of glasses in my booth, I had two sets. I divided them into eight each. And the set of the one, I sold one set for 20, and I had 20 on this one here. Is how much I was selling those for at my booth. So, you know, I'm thinking people remember what they had from last year. They don't. But so, you know, I can always take some of this stuff back. But I just wanted to kind of freshen up and put some new things in my booth. Okay, so that's that box. Okay, I said told Joanne I would do the hats next. Okay, this box, I'm not sure how many hats it is. I do well with hats on Etsy, but not at my booth. Because some people are selling their hats for like $2 and $3 and stuff. Okay, let's start with the hats. Got this cute, cute, cute little head here. Has a little bird nest, bird cage like trim on it. There's no markings or anything on this particular hat. It's really nice. We have this one here, and the tool kind of just comes down and spread out around the hair, like so. It has cute little flowers here. It does have a little comb here. The flowers are really cute. Just adorable. So you have that. We have this straw kind of head here. And this is kind of um, like some, what is it called? Chiffon fabric. And this head is by Jammy. We have that one. We have uh -oh, this purple one. And this is 
Does it say what fabric? This says New York and Paris. Got to run. My girls just showed up. Good to see you too. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you um, You're during your live show. I'll try to pop in. This is exclusive in Elisa exclusive, exclusive New York and Paris. This is kind of like a faux fur or some type of, it's real soft. Got that one. Got this little green one here. Little peel box type hat. And it has this little trim here. I'm not sure what's going on, how that goes. I think it just go across the top like so. Have this little black one here. And this is like a straw and it's trimmed with velvet. But what's weird is that this comes down up under your neck, I believe, and ties. I have some more, Alyssa, that didn't fit in this box. So if you want some hats, <laughs> have this little brown one here. And it's by uh, Caroline. It's a Caroline original. This is kind of like a straw type stuff. And then this is velvet trimming and it's dark brown. So this is like a regular brown and the velvet is more dark shade, a darker shade. We have this navy blue one here. This is probably wool. This is the inside. And this just bends down like this. And then it has like a little, I'm not sure what that is going on there. But I think it came on it because it, it's, it's actually attached. It's actually stitched in two places. So you have that one. You have this hat here. And I'm quite sure this was pretty expensive in the day because it came from Lazarus. And Lazarus is a department store uh, based out of Cincinnati, but we had them in Columbus, Ohio, and they were always very expensive. And this is that, I don't even, I can't even remember what this stuff was called. So you get that one. Then this little black one here, it's just a little one that kind of set on your head like so. This is like wired around the edge. Here's the label on that. Let me turn it over. I know that's upside down, but it's hard for me to show it. This, oh, there you go. And this actually was made in Raleigh, North Carolina, and I guess it's a size 22. And then it's also stamped. It was actually made in Italy, but I guess this was a store in Raleigh. I'm not that familiar. Raffida, yes, thank you. It's Riviera, the finest quality velour made in Italy. They say velour, but it's more like a velvet. That one. You have this little one here, which is really cute. It's feathers. It has a little bit of the uh, birdcage stuff on it to kind of come down. And it's red feathers and black feathers. There's no marks or anything on this. That one. This little one here is just birdcage with two velvet bows on it. It's a real pretty shade of blue. It does have a little head pin on it. And the last one in here, I have to unwrap it because I need to look. Ella Stone, okay. Because a customer had bought this and I wrapped it and got ready to ship it and realized she lived in like, anyway, it was going to cost a lot to ship it. And I didn't feel like going through all of that. So I just put it back with my little stash. It's a black velvet with beautiful pearl buttons on it. This is like clusters of pearls. It has four of them, and then it has a little head pin on it. And it has no marks or anything on it. So on this one here, you get one, two, three, four, five. That's five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13. You get 13 hats. This is box number six. And I'm going to say it's $60, which is $5 a hat. Well, if it's a baker's dozen. So you get 13 hats for $60. And this is box number six. So you get 13 hats for $60, which is less than $5 a hat. Okay, we have you down, Joanne. Thank you. And Joanne, since you have got, since you per, since you uh, won these, I have two more hats out in the uh, shop that was much larger that wouldn't fit in these box. So I will include those other hats. Well, at least one, unless Alyssa wants one. So I know I will put in those other hats. One is yellow and one is green, but they're much bigger hats. So I made a note to myself to include those other ones. Okay, here's another box of ornament, I mean of uh, figurines. Oh. These are kind of, um, these are, all these are kind of victorian -y. All these figurines, and a lot of them are, um, it's a pair. So let me kind of get them out so I can um, set them up as pairs to show them to you together. I wish Sue was here today or Anna because I know how she loved these types of uh, figurines here. See, this has got a little mate to it too. Okay, we'll get started. In this box, I'm showing you everything in the box. And this box is about eight pounds. I tried to keep them under 10. So you get this couple here, and they are made in Japan, and they are about, I would say, 10 inches each. There's no chips, cracks, or anything on them. And there's a close-up of their face, and this is the back view. So you get that couple there. We have this small couple here. It's like an online auction now. <laughs> and these little ones here, these are about four inches tall. Yeah, does, yeah, she loves these little figurines here. And they're just stamp made in China. But it's not your regular China stamp. I'm, um, you know, like little really cheapy ones. But they're really cute. And these are about three, four inches tall. You have this. She is just all by herself. This is by uh, Norlene's Taiwan. And again, there's no chips, cracks, or anything. She may, I don't know if it's rubbed off. She may have a little bit of paint rubbed off of her shoes, but that might have been how it was painted. I'm not sure on that. We have this pair here. And they're made in Taiwan. Turn your face around to the camera. And these are about eight and a half inches tall, and they're blue and white. This is the back of the guy, and this is the back of her. 
which is really different because he still has painting on the back of his um, little coat and painting on the front, whereas they did not paint the back of her at all except for down here. And I have read that a lot of times on some of the older pieces, they didn't paint it completely. So you get that set there. You get this little like wheelbarrow. I thought it was kind of Victorian, the style of it and the painting and the flowers and everything. So you could use it like a little trinket dish. No markings or anything on that. You get um, this whole, I'm not sure, I would call it a lipstick holder, but it could be used for candles or anything, but nobody would want candles. I need to give you the red feather head that I found. Oh, okay. And this little box, there's no, I mean, little, it's no, you know, marks or anything. So I'm calling it a lipstick holder. And these flowers, I don't think there's any chips or anything. A few of them feel rough, but I think that's the way they were made. Because like, see, this one kind of bends back a little bit. And like right there on that point feels rough where it bends over. You've seen this before. I had this for quite a while. It's a little vase. I thought sitting by some of the pieces that this would be really cute. And the last two in this set, in this box, is this boy and girl here. Let me move y'all. You don't have to be in the screen. Move over a little bit and let's share with others. So you get the little girl here and she's in good shape, good condition, no chips, cracks or anything. Is that a chip? Oh, this might be a teeny tiny little, I'm not sure if it's a chip or it's just paint because it doesn't feel rough. And I just feel is that. Oh no. Then this is the little boy that matches her. Now, one of his little right there, I don't know if you can see it, right there, one of the leaves are broke is broken off. And these are about let's see. They're about eight and a half, nine inches tall. And it is a little vase. So you could put something in it or you could always cover it a little bit, stuff it with something and use it to uh, display. Head pins would be really pretty displayed in that. A single flower would be pretty. I'll take a flower out of this since I'm sitting at my kitchen table and show you how cute a flower would look in there. You know, to put a single flower in there, setting up would be pretty. So this is box number seven. Box number seven. And it is how many pieces? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pieces. How about forty dollars for box number seven? That's the Victorian people, and that'll be $40. So that would be less than $4 each one. That's box number seven for the Victorian -y people, and I'll show them as I'm putting them back in the box. I love the colors on this boy and girl set here. And if you're watching this video on a replay, you can always send me a note to see if things are still available. But I thought this would be perfect for lipsticks. That girl there. Oh, some of my boxes fell on the paper, fell on the floor. We had this little set right here. And you can see him, he's kind of bashful.
I had a couple of vintage purses, but when I went back to the booth, somebody had bought them all. So I was surprised because I had had them there forever, it seemed like. That was number seven. And it was $40. Okay, let's put that over here. Get another box out. Oh, we'll do this little box here. Maybe I'm going to do this one first. Oh, okay, here it is, guys. This is a little box. And it's like a golf theme box. It's three pounds, the box. So this one wouldn't be terribly expensive to ship. It's pr primarily golf, but it'd be nice if you're looking for something. If you have a booth and you want a little area set up for men, this would be really great. And these are all majority, except two. Uh, this goes in that jewelry one. I'm gonna hide that in there. So we'll start with this guy here. This is Honor Ar Ar Arnold Harmer. And it is an ornament. It has a little signature on it. And this was put out by Hallmark. So it is a Hallmark ornament. And it's Jack Nicholson. I mean, excuse me, I'm Arnold Farmer. <laughs> That's one. You have this little planter or a pencil holder. You can store your pencils right in here. It says Terrific Dad, and he's leading on a golf. Um, you have this Santa and reindeer driving a little golf cart. And I don't see any marks on that. It's very good quality. So I would say it's probably Hallmark, maybe American Greetings. You have this little golf ball that's actually a bell. And this one says, this is 2002, no, 2006. And it doesn't have it, but it's a little bell. It's a golf ball. And the little ribbon is cute because it had like that um, argyle print on it. Um, you have this little um, golf ornament, it's a little bear, and it's from 2003. And he's on the 18th hole. Have a gold golf ball. A little bit of paint wear on that. You have this one here, which is a Wilson golf bag. And this is by Hallmark 1995. And in my booth, I usually sell ornaments for $5, sometimes three, depending on, you know, what it is. You have this sun catcher ornament. And this could really be used year round. Then you have this uh, golf shoe. And I don't see any marks on it. And then I threw this in because at least it was a man. It's a doctor. And he's kind of like the clay. And it just says made in China. And I think when they sold those, these, it was able to personalize with the person's name on the board using a Sharpie. And then I put a Dr. Claus in there. He looks nice sitting on a shelf or whatever. And his shoes reminded me a lot of the golf shoe that was in the box. And there is no marks on him. So this is number eight, and it's the golf box. And there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pieces in there, and I'll do this for $15 plus shipping. So this is $15 for the golf box. And there are over ten pieces in it. Okay. 
Okay, and that was box number eight. And it was $15. Okay. We're getting down to the end of it. Did I show that one? No, didn't do this one. Let's get this box here, this Christmas box here. Got a few more to go. I had 12 boxes starting off. I think I had 12. I did get this one. Okay, let's see. I'll do this linen box. Another linen box. And this one is, I don't think this one is as heavy. This linen box is six pounds here. Six pounds. This little, I call this like a little dresser scarf or something. Has a little four leaf, a uh, little clover in the corner. Some of these little ones here. Have a really vintagey looking one, and this one's kind of long. I would say this one is 36 inches long by about 12 inches wide. Show you up close. It has a butterfly motif embroidered on it. I must have had a hundred of these little things. Cause here's another one in this box. Here's a larger one that matches one that was in the other box. Out of the voil. Very pretty trim on that. I have tons of baby clothes. Tons of baby. You should, you should, you should make a trip to Sanford one day, and that way you could just shop in my closet and in my studio because I have just so much stuff and I've been too lazy The baby clothes. I haven't tried to sell on here cause I've been really selling them on Etsy, but I put my shop on vacation on Etsy in April and I have not opened it back up yet. This is, um, I guess it's a napkin. I'll run in the bedroom since I'm in the house and I'll pull out a handful of baby clothes to show you what type of baby clothes I have. And a lot of the baby clothes I end up selling sometimes on Facebook on Monday nights or on one Monday a month I do a show. Oh, okay. I mean, you're welcome. Anytime you want to come out here to Sanford, I'm usually at home or pretty close to the house. This is a little hanky. Quite a few hunkies in here. Doily, another little lacy doily. Oh, this is a set. It's three pieces to this here. It's two squares like this that's about 12 by 8. And then it's one longer one. And this one is probably 36 by 12. So that's a three-piece set, actually. Um, this is another doily here or a dresser scarf. Now, this does have a couple little spots right there. I have not tried to clean this one, to be truthful. Usually, I do clean them. And here's a very 80s-like dish towel and a matching pie folder. Uh, another hanky, another hanky. This is a dresser scarf. Or no, uh, this is like a table topper, I think. It is probably one, two, almost a 30 inch square. Ooh. 
This is an old calendar from what year is this? 1994. You remember that you had these calendars every year and then you use them for dish towels after that year was over. And it's from Alaska. These are some I used to sell in my booth in Atlanta. I would do little embroidered days of the week towels and stuff. And this, I just have a few left over. And I would do it out of the homespun type fabrics and stuff. And this is a Monday. Another little doily like this would look nice on a fireplace hanging over the edge. Little cocktail napkins and the little wine glass um, coasters. And I think it's eight of these, I believe. Two, four, six. No, it wouldn't be nine. Let me count that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's twelve. You get 12 little cocktail napkins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and 12 wine glass coasters. Here's a vintage pillowcase. This one's in perfect condition. And I'll hold that up close. This is another little uh, tablecloth cover, but it does have a hole in the middle, but all around the edge where the embroidery is, is in really, really good condition. There is the tablecloths. There's some, uh, this is a table runner here. Kind of got a teal color kind of border on it. And it feels like it's silk. I'm not really sure, but it feels silk. And then it has the ribbon embroidery on it. It's really pretty. Okay, that's that. This is a pretty scarf here dresser scar. I do see a couple little tiny holes in that. Smell of this kind of reminds me of my grandmother. Here's a little vintage collar. You know what else I have too that I've been trying to get ironed and starched up? I have a huge box of Victorian clothes, clothes from like the late 1800s and early 1900s and 1930s and stuff. They're in lady sizes and they are so small though. This is a little square one here that's probably a six inch square. And then this matches that and it's a little larger. Mm, this one is probably about tw a 12 inch square. And then of the, these are napkins. And this is a set of one, two, three, four, five, six napkins. I'm gonna show you one or two other things out of this box and then I'll move on. This is a beautiful doily. It's like an oval shape. Okay, uh, tablecloth for a small table. It's the Battenberg lace. Why is she still calling me? Hold on, let me see what she wants.
Okay. I don't know why she would call me back. She knows what time I'm on usually. Okay. And there's a tablecloth. I mean, this is a, what is this? Oh, um, an apron. Really pretty spring colors. This is the second linen box. This one is number 50 for the linen box. And it is $40 for the linen box. And it's number 50. So we have that one there. And like I said, that's some of it is still more in that box. This box is over um, six pounds. Real pretty to, um, what is, oh, I thought that was a stain. That's a label that's on there. So that was box number 50 and it was $40. Okay, let's see what else I have here. Boxes. This is a Christmas. I have three more boxes left, so we should be right on time. Oh. Okay. I'll start with this here in this box. You get this large tin here. And in this tin is filled with ornaments, all kinds of ornaments. You know, some people are spooked out by clowns, but you get some clowns in there, some raccoons. These are uh, by American Greetings. These ones here, 1990, they were for like each year, like this is a three-year-old. Here's one that's a four-year-old. I think this one might be Hallmark here. A little mouse peeping at the um, little timer. This little girl playing a violin. So you get more than 12 ornaments in there. You get this music box. Uh, oh, it does play. I just set it down. And this song, I cannot read it. It's made in Taiwan. This little vintage snowman. It's interesting, his little, their choice of hats on him. And this is made in the Republic of China. It says Taiwan, the Republic of China. And this is just styrofoam. Here's a Norman Rockwell ornament from 1995. Here's a Santa. Um, this was a promotion given away by this um, furniture store, Heilig Myers, which they're long gone. And I think this was like 1990 something they was giving these out in the 90s. You get two of these here. They're candle holders. <laughs> A whole tree of clowns. This is a set of two of these little ornaments here. One's blue and one is silver. And they're not expensive and they have felt on the bottom so they don't scratch up your furniture. This is a um, Christmas stocking hanger, and these were put up, <clears throat> excuse me, by Hallmark. More ornaments. The Santa planter. And this is just made in China, and it retails for $12.99 when it was new. You get your salt and pepper shakers. a clown, I mean a clown, um, 
Christmas tree and snowman. And there's no marks or anything, but they're not old. Then these are really cute. They're by um, the Yankee Candle Company. Yeah. And these are little tea light candles. Let's see if I can slide them out. Here's one of them that's out. And it's the polar bears. And each one is a candle. And you get four. They're polar bears and penguins. And this is my, this is a Christmas box. And this box is eight pounds as well. This is box number nine, and it's a Christmas box. And this is $35. $35 for this Christmas box here. Number nine. $35. rainbow colored. I would I would love to see that because in my mind I can't even imagine it. <laughs> and I do a doll most Christmases I do a doll tree with all dolls on it. Okay so that's that one. Okay and what's this one? I got one more back here. See if I can get this. Oh, it's going to be uh, figurines. Another box of figurines. And this box will be six pounds. Yeah, let me take everything out of there. Move this one down. Well, my mailman came early today. I'm sure glad I put my packages out. Yeah, these are all figurines again. And it's at least 20 of them in the box. And this is a six pound box. Break that. Okay, we'll get started with her. Here's an UNESCO birthday girl. And this is number eight for an eight year old. There's no chips, cracks, or anything like that. And there's over 20 pieces in this box. The only one that has an issue, which I didn't notice until the other day when I was packing this, she has been glued back together. That's the only thing that I know in this box that have an issue. Then we have this um, Hummel-like figurine. It's by Norlings. And she's about four inches. So we have that. Here's another one of the birthday girls. This is a three-year-old. She has her little dolly. This is a Govo figurine. And there's the markings on that. And you know, generally these are pretty expensive. Have this little girl playing a little flute, I guess. It's a little angel girl. It's white. The only marks it says WS on it, which I'm not sure what that is. It says copyrighted WS. We have this adorable little girl. Look at that face. <laughs> I think she came with like some type of pole or something. And there's the mark. It's kind of worn, even though it's gold and green. I really, 
Well, I can see it better on screen than I can just looking at it. Oh, it's Norcrest. It's Norcrest. She's by Norcrest. Another one of the birthday girls. Oh, I showed that one. That's a three-year-old. Here's another birthday girl. This is a one-year-old. wrapped up in here. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> well, we had all vintage um, teacups and saucers and stuff like that tied on the end of each one of the pews at the church with vintagey looking flowers and stuff for Alyssa. And then we had books on the t at the reception. It was books and silver pots and silver, you know, it was really pretty. I'll have to post some pictures of that on one of the um, things to show some ways to use some of the stuff. This is another one of the Growing Up Girls. This is age 11. Let's put that one back in there. Um, this is another Cinderella. It's just like all of a sudden I just started finding these a lot. This one is actually a little ornament. I think it's a hard plastic. Um, that's the way she's made. There's a little puppy jumping up on her. And I guess she has an ice cream and maybe that's what the dog wants. Or maybe it's a rose. I'm not sure. That's like a hard plastic. There is a little um, graduate girl. And there's no marks on this. Here's this little August boy. He's out surfing out on the waves. This is a left in piece. Is the Christopher collection by Lefton and it's 1983. I will I will go back and put together pictures and do like a slideshow and then it's a little fall angel is the last thing in there. This is just ceramic and then her wings are um, is a metal. And that's the last box and that is box number 10. And it's at least 20 figurines. And I did the other figurine box for 40. I'll do that for four, this one for $40. And it is box number 10. Figurines, box 10. And it's $40 for that one. And Joanne, I'm going to run and get those. Um, I'm ha I have a hard time finding left in and occupational figurines. Uh, I would need to look and see what I have, but let me run in the bedroom and I'm going to get that box and I'll show you some of the dresses that I have because it's right in the bedroom. <laughs> Now, my most 
favorite of all of the um, baby dresses that I love to get. And this is how I keep them packaged and stored so they're ready to ship. I have them in little plastic bags like this. And this is my most favorite kind is the ones by like Feldman Brothers and um, later on some of the Patek and these. But I mean, I probably have about 40 or 50 of these dresses here that I need to get listed. So I have those kind there. And I'm just picking them up as I get to them. I just grabbed the whole pile. Look at this cute little yellow one. Most of them are from the 80s and stuff. I do have some outfits from the 40s and 50s. This is just a little blue slip. And I do label the little bags. This is more of an 80s one here. It's a little dress and matching little rubber pants. So those. Lay these on top of there. What is this one here? Oh, this is another slip, but this is a really old slip here. This is a diaper shirt. I love when I find little diaper shirts. Look how cute that is. So if anybody out there, if y'all would like for me to do a vintage show with baby clothes, I'll be glad to do that because I have quite a bit. What is this one here? This is right here. These shirt, diaper shirts here were from the 40s. This is adorable. I just found this. Where is it slip? This was a two-piece set. I don't think this is necessarily old, but it was cute. I found this up in Ohio. No, this isn't old. Last when I went up there, look at this is the dress. And this is the matching uh little slip to that one. Oh, this is cute, cute, cute. Look at this little little boys well i'm saying little boy let me move my pen i don't want look at the the detail on this it's got like the shadow stitching and then it has the trim all the way down the opening it's like a long shirt or like one of the gowns and actually yeah, this is the one uh, Micah actually wore this when he, they did his dedication. And it has a matching little hat. And we've washed it, but we have, I haven't ironed it back up. And what else I got out there? I just grabbed a pile. Oh, that's not This little dress here. Now, this dress here is from the 80s. Alyssa wore this dress as well as one of her cousins that's a little bit older. It has a little it had a pinafore. I don't know if I still had the pinafore. Alyssa, you remember seeing Alexis in the picture with this dress on if you're still out there? That. This one I have to do some repairs on. They don't know. I have to do some repairs on this, but I thought I love the little ruffles and stuff on this but it's torn over on the side there, but I can fix that. I think I have some little rubber pants on this and I do like this elastic is all stretched out. I do fix all that elastic and stuff before I ship them or put them for sale. A little fancy diaper cover. And you don't find a lot of the diaper covers like this for boys that don't have the lace and stuff. Joanne, this dress should look very familiar. Does that look familiar? <laughs> I bought this dress from Joanne when we was when we did a meetup one day. And I think I bought did I buy this one from you too? 
they were together. So I, anyway, they're cute. That's not old. Oh, okay. Yeah. And how I keep my stuff stored, I'll show you, which I probably shouldn't be doing this, but you know, the post office give you these boxes free. I take my boxes like this and I cut them and I put them in my closet so that way I can look and just look right back into the box and get the sizes that I'm looking for. So if I sell a dress, no, they fell over while I was coming out here. But I can just look at the front and I would see exactly what it is. And this, these, this is a baby box, but I have them all the way up to a size six. I think I have some sixes and eights uh, vintage clothes. And this one is different because you don't see a lot of yellow. Oh, I opened this one. Here's the top over right here. You don't see a lot of the yellow in this style of dress. It's actually, it looks kind of creamy on the thing, but it is actually a yellow, yellow, yellow. It has a little bunny on it. But that's some of my favorite styles is that style there. This is an older one from probably this is probably from like the 20s and 30s. It just says handmade in the Philippines. May not be, but I'm thinking it is. True yellow or greens, yeah. I don't have a lot of green stuff. Maybe in the little boy sizes. I think these, oh, these are all little slips in this bag. Because the dresses are so thin, some of them, that you almost need the little slip. Here's a little pink one with a lot of detail up there, all the little pin tucks and so forth. And this one buttons all the way down the front. Here's something in a bluish green color. I may have faded it, trying to get it clean, get the stains out and stuff, but this is like a really light mint green. And it's so funny because like some of these things will say for a year old and you're looking like that's like a four to three to six month or something nowadays this is a pretty one i love the little trim on that and i think this may yeah this has a matching slip to it and i love it when i find them as a set and i'm saying it's a set maybe it's Oh, it is because the reason I knew this was a set because see that beautiful trim right there at the hem. It's the same design as it's on the front of the little dress. More pinks and more whites. Like I said, I have like so many of these dresses here and I've just been lazier but not getting them listed. And I don't know why, because they sell very well. This one isn't old, but a lot of times I will, um, a lot of people buy these for dolls. This is like a gown. And I think this is probably a patik and me. So these, you know, a lot of times, like I said, they buy these for dolls. So but that, that's about, you know, this is a larger size here. One, this is a vintage Byron dress. Alyssa found this for me when she was out thrifting one day. And it's got like polka dot pinafore on it, a white polka dot, little tiny polka dot pinafore. And then it has the plain ruffled dress up under it. And what else I found, this is something to be on the lookout for. Let me show you this dress here because I've never heard of this one. 
I only have bought the ones from um, Little Dolly, I think. But this brand here, get this is right here in this closet. Like the other little pageant style dresses, they sell for, um, <laughs> you know, I'll sell them for like $80, $50, $60, and $70 and stuff. And they sell like as soon as I list them. But this one right here, I found, I didn't know the brand or anything, and I paid 50 cent for it. And it's Betty Odin. On Etsy and eBay, these dresses are selling for at least $150 to $300. It just depends. It's the pageant style dresses. So this would definitely be one to be on the lookout for. When I came home and looked this one up, because I'm going like, oh, that's just a knockoff of, you know, the other one. And when I looked these up and seen the price they were selling for, I said, well, I'm going to list this right now. Of course, I haven't. But look at that. It's just one of the plain pageant dresses. And unlike the other ones, the other ones have uh, like cotton uh, under attached slip. This one do have kind of a vintage lace or tool like trim uh, slip attached. So like I say, this was definitely one to be on the lookout for. So hopefully I'll get those uh, yeah, I mean, I've gotten poly funders. You, uh, for her, you only can get, well, I can only sell those for like $30 and stuff. And um, $25, $30, a few $40s, depending on what it is. The Byron's, I usually get good prices for and stuff. But, um, but the ones by Little Dolly and stuff, these pageant dresses, even if it's no name, you can get $50, $60, $70. But this brand here, for some reason, it was ridiculous, but um, hopefully I'll get that listed real soon. And it's in like really good shape. And like I said, I got this for 50 cent. So I guess the person that was selling it didn't know either why they were selling it for 50 cent. But I was thrilled. But again, I want to thank everybody for joining me. And if you see anything, if you're watching this on a replay or if you want to go back and watch it again and see anything you want, let me know. Joanne, if you would give me a call, we can get together anytime you want. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't buy those, though, because I don't do um, adult clothes. I only do children's clothes. But I do run across those from time to time. And back in the 1971, no, excuse me, 1979, when I moved to Atlanta, I worked in a fabric store. And that's what we did was make square dance and clogging outfits. Those little frilly slips that went up under them and stuff. That's what I made. Thank you. We can meet. Okay, just I'll, I'll check my schedule and let you know. I know this week is not going to be. I know I'm not doing it this week because I'm going out of town for the weekend. But, um. Anytime that following week will be good. And, um, and especially Alyssa will probably want to come to uh, Raleigh to come to Durham. And now that she's living here, she can do that because she hadn't seen her nieces in a minute. So, but anyway, I want to say thanks and I'll see everybody later. Where did that not go by? So I again thanks. And this Tuesday, I'm probably not going to be having a sale Tuesday night. Um, but I may have a chat on Tuesday night, um, inviting some people to come and talk. Um, if I can figure this thing out. What's going on with my um with my internet? Well, I'm not able to get it in my studio. So thanks and bye-bye, everyone. Thanks, Alyssa.